Yo, what is going on my YouTube people? This is Gavin Assidy here again with you for another video. Since today is Wednesday, we got another episode of our Operator School series. This time, we will be going over Frost. Last week, we had over 2,500 total votes with Frost winning at 56% with 1,430 votes. I do want to give a quick thank you to everybody who had participated in that poll and helped making this series possible, but for those of you who are new and how this series works is I will be grading every operator in Rainbow Six Siege on a scale of 1 to 10 in three different categories and then finally giving them an overall grade and telling you why I think you should use them. So the three categories that we will be discussing are weapons, gadget, and then finally versatility. I normally go in order of one attacker and one defender, so if there's an attacking operator that you would like to see for next week, I have a card on screen right now in the top right corner that you can click on, and it contains a poll where you can vote on which attacking operator you would like to see for next week. But hopping into Frost and who she is, she is a defending operator who is part of the Canadian JF2 task force and her ability or gadget is a mechanical trap to incapacitate enemies. In other words, a bear trap. And as usual, we will talk about the gadget a little bit further into the episode. We're going to start with our first category here, which is weapons. So for weapons, I have given Frost an 8 out of 10. Now, I think she has two solid primary weapons, but her SMG isn't the best. There are better SMGs out there. So we're going to start off with talking about the 9mm C1, which is her submachine gun, and it's an old school looking submachine gun. Looks similar to the Type 100 back from World at War if you play Call of Duty. It's got that side loading mag, just looks pretty awesome in my opinion. It does 38 damage, it has an extremely slow fire rate of 575 rounds per minute. It has a 45 mobility and a 35 mag cap with one in the chamber. I would say that the recoil for this weapon is moderate to high. It just kind of kicks in. It's very unpredictable. It seems to go left, right, and just kind of all over the place. So it can be hard to get used to it. But once you get it down pack, very effective weapon, especially when you're going for those headshots. And again, it's not the best submachine gun. And I think one of the biggest issues with it is the fire rate is so slow but it does have more ammo in the magazine so it somewhat balances out but as for how i like to run this weapon would just be with reflex sight unfortunately you can't put grip on it and i don't like putting the suppressor on it i feel like it dampens the damage a little bit too much for me next moving on to the gun that everybody loves and you'll see the most when somebody is playing as frost is her super 90 and it's a godlike semi-auto shotgun it looks as though it is pump action, but and that is actually what it was rumored to be after the nerf, but even after nerf, this gun is still godly. It's more similar to the M1014, but still, in my opinion, a little bit better. The damage is 42 per shot. It can shoot pretty much as fast as you can pull the trigger. Has 42 mobility and then an 8 round mag cap. There is loads of recoil on this gun, so if you are going to try to aim down sight, you might want to take that into consideration so hip firing is not a bad option with this weapon and like i said even after patch this gun is still a go-to weapon as for how i like to run it pretty much just stock no attachments i don't like putting laser sights on guns just because it kind of gives away your position and i think the iron sights are pretty adequate i think if it wasn't for the super 90 frost weapon score would be a lot lower in my opinion the super 90 brings it up a lot definitely because it is such an amazing amazing weapon not to say that her smg is bad and you can't do well with it but i just think there are way better submachine guns in this game next moving on to our gadget category and as for gadget again i have given frost an 8 out of 10. i think her gadget the bear trap is extremely useful and deadly but sometimes it can be a little bit unpredictable and kind of inconsistent. There will be rounds where you will not get any kills with it. And I think it takes a little bit long to set up all three and get your reinforced wall set up and get into your kind of hiding spot for the defensive round. So for that reason, I wouldn't give it a perfect score. And also, if you put the bear trap too far away and you can't get to it in time, the enemies will be able to revive their teammates. As for some really good upsides to the bear trap, I would say it can be practically invisible depending on where you put it. If you put it under windowsills, a lot of times people will not pay attention to that. 
more so now since it's been out for a while people start to look out for it but dark places any type of foliage like if you're playing on shallot there's some foliage you can put it in people will not notice it at all and barbed wire is pretty good to cover them another cool part is that when enemies swing in from windows it will kill them automatically in one hit it will not put them in the down and out position so you can get some free kills off of it and they can pretty much cause you to win rounds if your team is pretty much all dead and there's a 1v1 situation and the attacking team is getting a little bit too aggressive and not paying attention, the bear trap can end up killing them. But as I said before, some of the best places I would say is just put them near windows. If you put them in front of the barricaded doors, people will more than likely see them. But overall, a solid gadget in my opinion. Moving on to our final category of versatility. So for versatility, I have given Frost a perfect 10 out of 10. I think she is very versatile and just great overall operator she has that two armor and two speed that i love she is an amazing roamer i cannot stress that enough she's probably one of the best in the entire game but she can also play the objective i like that her bear traps can be used either around the map to kind of throw off the enemy or they can be placed inside the objective it seems that it will kill people no matter how cautious they are or how hard they try to find them. Also, she has one of my favorite side gadgets being the C4 to take out those annoying riot shielders. And her weapons allow her to kind of play short, medium, and longish ranges if you're kind of stretching it with the submachine gun. So with all that being said, it's going to lead us to our overall score of Frost. And how the numbers work, she gets an 8.6 out of 10. So some final thoughts and reasons why I think you should use Frost would be for the roaming factor again i've even had her on the list as my top roaming operator she is very good and it seems like no matter what she is picked nearly every single round and ever since she was added into the game she's just been a dominant operator one of the biggest reasons also to use her if not the biggest would be because of the super 90 that thing is still op even after all the patches just an unbelievable shotgun and can definitely win you rounds uh, I would say she's probably better off being used in the medium to close range, but again, overall, just an amazing operator, but that will conclude my review of Frost. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that like button. Let's try to shoot for a like goal of 500 likes on this video. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, whatever you feel. And again, don't forget to vote in the poll in the top right corner for which attacking operator for next week. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. As usual, you guys have a good one. Peace.